Welcome to the 2025-2026 VEX IQ Robotics Competition and this year's game, Mix and Match. Mix and Match is played on a six foot by eight foot field by two teams, red and blue, working together to score points by stacking game elements and placing those stacks in goals to boost their value. There are two types of game objects, pins and beams. Pins are 116 millimeters tall and 80 millimeters in diameter. Beams are 251 millimeters long by 124 millimeters wide by 50 millimeters tall. 18 pins and two beams start on the field with four additional pins on starting posts. Each robot must begin the match with one pin of their color as a preload. 12 pins are reserved for human loaders and can only be introduced by contacting a load zone of the same color. Mix and Match is a game of stacking and strategy where a single object can dramatically alter the score at any time. A game object on its own is worth zero points. A stack is created when one object is placed on top of another. Once a stack is created, no matter its location on the field, it is immediately worth points. Each connected pin in a stack is worth one point. However, teams will receive bonus points for stacks consisting of more than one color. For example, a stack that is a mix of two colors is awarded five bonus points, and a stack that is a mix of three colors is awarded 15 bonus points. Stacks consisting of only one color receive no bonus points. Teams can move their stacks into any of the six goals around the field. There are two triangle goals, two square goals, a floor goal, and a standoff goal. Each goal has a color that matches one of the three pin colors. If the color of the bottom pin in the stack matches the color of the goal, that stack earns more points. There are many variations of a stack. For instance, a stack can consist of just pins or a combination of pins and a beam. A connected beam in a stack is worth 10 points. Beams are not color specific. Rather, beams are a wild card and take on any color that is not currently part of their stack. For example, in this two pin stack that is a mix of two colors, an added beam will act as the third color, red, and make it a stack of three. Each stack using a beam, regardless of its location on the field, will also receive the same scoring bonus as a stack of the same size that is placed in a matching goal. Remember, in mix and match, strategy is key. High scoring stacks can go even higher by utilizing the standoff goal in the center of the field. This configuration, including six pins and one beam, contains three stacks and is worth 91 points. When placed on the standoff goal, an additional 10 points will be awarded for every stack. There are three ways to play in the VEX IQ Robotics Competition. First, two teams will collaborate in 60-second teamwork challenge matches, working together to maximize their collective score. Each of these teams consists of two drivers and one loader. One driver will operate the robot for the first half of the match. The other driver will operate it for the second half and the loader will perform their task for the full 60 seconds. Second, each team will have the opportunity to play driving skills challenge matches. In these matches, teams have 60 seconds of driver controlled time to score as many points as possible. Third, each team will also have the opportunity to play autonomous coding skills challenge matches in which they have 60 seconds of autonomous robot operation to score points, no drivers allowed. Mix and Match is played a little differently in Robot Skills Challenges, so be sure to check out the game manual for details. The scores from Driving and Autonomous Coding Skills Challenges will be combined to determine the Robot Skills Challenge Champion. For official game rules and robot requirements for VEX IQ Robotics Competition Mix and Match, be sure to check out the game manual found at VEXIQ.com. To register a team, find events near you, or ask a question on the official Q&A, please visit robotevents.com. Good luck and have a great season.